Happening now, the White House is on high alert after receiving an envelope that could be laced with cyanide. The Secret Service says the letter was found at a mail screening facility. Initial tests were negative, but new tests this morning are confirming that it was in fact cyanide. No illnesses or injuries were reported and an investigation is ongoing. Elsewhere, two passengers on a United Airlines flight are being called heroes this morning after tackling a passenger who tried to rush the cockpit. The flight had just taken off from Washington, D.C. on its way to Denver when a government official says the passenger suddenly ran toward the cockpit door screaming jihad and two men at the front of the plane sitting in first class quickly tackled him. I asked him to calm down. He didn't, so I immediately uh, secured him. I grabbed him uh, from his torso and uh, took him to the ground. You have to act. Yeah, but he Okay, 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 okay. I got him. I got him. The passenger was restrained until that flight was diverted back to Washington, D.C. He's now being held under a mental health check this morning, but has not been arrested thus far. And the results of the Israeli elections are now in, and it's a stunning turnaround win for Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu and his political party. His opponent, who led in exit polls, has now reportedly conceded. Netanyahu has vowed to block the creation of a Palestinian state, which puts him at odds with the Obama administration, who is pushing for two separate states. 5.35 is the time. Aaron is with us right now in studio. He's got to check on our forecast.